Howdy everyone, this is Lacey Linden and I'm going to be giving a basic tutorial on some Marvelous Designer stuff. Uh, if this is helpful, hopefully I'll be able to make some in the future and don't hesitate to ask any questions. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run through, you know, no stops or anything like that, just straight recording. So let's go. This should be able to help you with making basic shirt, whatever really, and even or especially for the upcoming holiday sweater challenge. I'm going to go ahead and just get to it then. So, whilst we're in Marvelous Designer, if you don't have it already open, choose your avatar. I'm going to go ahead and, there's the male one, but I'm going to go ahead and start with a female. So, these avatars should actually be at the bottom of your screen already. No need to import them if you're using the most recent version of Marvelous. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select Open, and I'm going to get the female one loaded. So, as you can see, there's a bit of a silhouette right here. We're going to go ahead and go up to the 2D pattern window and select the rectangle button. This is going to go ahead and make a little bit of, of a quote unquote canvas to make the shirt on. So we can be generous as all this stuff is not needed to be precise as of yet. Uh, click and drag to make a rectangle as you can see. So whilst that thinks, we're going to go ahead and click, actually it thought a lot faster than I thought it would. Uh, move it to the middle wherever really you want to. It doesn't matter. At this point, you'll see it looks like a giant billboard. Don't worry, we're not done yet. <laughs> so the only fabric we currently have under the object browser is this fabric one. Let's go ahead and select that. You'll see it gives you all these wonderful property editor things. Uh, under the texture button, let's go ahead and click that. And it'll open up a dialog box where you're going to go ahead and select whatever you want. You don't even necessarily need to have a pattern, but I'm going to use a basic one that is in the public domain. Uh, so this is just a basic t-shirt outline, and this isn't even going to be what we make in the very end. So it's just a good outline to, you know, help stencil what you want to make. So as you can see, this might be a little small for this avatar. And also you can't really see the avatar behind it. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead back to this property editor on the fabric one and we're going to go ahead, go down to the opacity and we're going to move that down quite a bit so we can see what's going on underneath. I'm going to make it a little more bright because I can't see that very well. <laughs> so as I was saying, this is a little tiny. We're going to go ahead and go to this button, which is the edit texture 3D button. So we're going to click on this right here and it'll bring lots of fun options up right here. We're going to make this bigger because this is not going to fit in its current state. This is just a stencil like I said, but we're going to guesstimate it and see where we can get it. You can move it around where it'll show uh, on the 2D pattern side, but overall just try to get it to where it looks like it'll fit. It's just, you know, quick guess. and then. Once we're here, we're going to go ahead and try to line it up where it looks like it's about cut right down the middle. So this doesn't have to be exact, but I would always recommend to err on the side of uh, larger rather than smaller. So as you can see, this is about the same, about right, about bisected. It's going to be very important you try to make it symmetrical on both sides. So once we're here, you may ask what we're going to do. Well, we're going to go to the internal polygon line. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and go to the very bottom where this is lined up in the very middle. And let's click right there. It should try to guide your cursor there, actually. So if you're having trouble with that, uh, you might want to ask around in the Discord or anything like that, or look at our knowledge base. So right now I'm going to go ahead and make this line, which is pink. When it's pink, the line means that it's going straight or directly in proportion to another point. But in this case, it means it's directly straight. Um, we're not even going to have to follow the pattern necessarily. I'm just going to guess where the collar would be, which uh, on this avatar looks about it's going to be right here or so. So once I press this, it's going to say, hey, where else do you want to move it uh, by in nonverbal form? <laughs> um, 
And so about where the collar would end is very similar to where the pattern is. Press that right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and move this over to where the sleeve is gonna start. So at the very top of this, we'll press about, ooh, that's about where the start of the shoulder would go, where the armhole, I guess that's what you call it, would go. Um, and we'll keep making this, it's gonna be a little blocky right now, but don't worry, it'll be edited later. Um, this looks about, hmm, about right like this. So from there, we're going to go ahead and try to line it up and we'll start to really put the finishing touches here uh, in regards to the block pattern. Now you'll see that there's two pink lines. Let's press that and let's connect it by double clicking. From here, it's going to think for a moment and you're going to get a little something that should look a little like this. So from here, you're probably like, oh gosh, that looks like very blocky. You're right, but don't worry about it for now. <laughs> so from here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on this button right here that looks like a filled in half block of cheese transform pattern. <laughs> and we're gonna right click on it and we're going to select clone as pattern. So when it does this, it's gonna be like, hey, where do you wanna put it? I usually just go ahead and line it up somewhere around here uh, with the pink lines and click. So for now, that should not be an issue, but we'll see in the future what goes on exactly. Um, from here, let's go ahead and select another internal polygon. We're gonna go ahead and click on this and try to, you know, fit it as much as you can. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and select this so we can make sure that we have the correct sleeve length. Because you're wanna, you're, what we're gonna do is sew these two uh, to each other so that there can be sleeves. So I move this down to here and I'll do a little bit of a guesstimation because I wanna do some bit of a long sleeve. We can always edit this later, but that sounds about right. And mm, let's see, this should probably be about right for the sleeves. Again, we can always edit it later and double click and then we should have some of an arm. So selecting this right here, again, the full block of cheese transform pattern. We're gonna right click it and do the same as we did there, clone as pattern. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to line it up somewhat to this where it looks like it could fit, which it will. But for right now, there we go. So you're probably wondering, wow, I have half of a shirt. What's the big deal? You'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead with the full block or the half block of cheese transform pattern button, uh, left click and select this, and we're gonna move it out of the way for now. So what we're gonna do is take our little bits we have right here and move them cl back closer to where the original spot was. As you can see, it looks a little funny right now, but it won't in a moment, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, housekeeping here and edit the blockiness. So with this, we're gonna go to the curvature, edit curvature tool, select this line and make it to look a little more human-like in that sense, right there. And moving that down to about right there. Um, moving this, just give it a little shape. You don't have to do this, but it might make it look a little better. And that should be good for right now in regards to what we wanna edit. I'll explain later as to why. Um, Actually, no, we're gonna click on this and I want you to take notice of this curvature right here. You see how it says 170.2? I believe that's in millimeters. I'm gonna move this over like this and make sure that you keep a note of this because we're gonna want to do the same thing. So I'm gonna move this to be 175.1. Same goes right here. I'm 
going to make it as close as I can. That's about as close as I'm going to get it at the moment. <laughs> this should work for now, though. So going back to the uh, Edit Pattern tool, we're going to select this line right here, right click it, and select Unfold. And we're going to have, actually, let me take this. this. This will be able to move your original pattern out of the way because it only does it right there when you select it right there. So moving that there and We'll, I'll select with my left mouse button this right here, and then I can move this over on that plane. So we'll get a little bit of a visualization of what we're doing on the 2D pattern. So there's that. You're probably wondering like, hey, this is some funky neckline right here. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a moment. Going back to the transform pattern tool, we're gonna select this sleeve right here, and we're gonna right click it, and select mirror paste. And it's gonna say, hey, where do you wanna put it? We're gonna select right there, which should work. Oh, wait, actually, I'm gonna undo that real quick. I'm gonna see if I can go copy and then mirror paste. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. You're gonna wanna select copy and then mirror paste and then move it to about right there, which is gonna make it go onto the other side. So, again, with the blockiness at the moment, you see how this has three lines right here, three dots? Uh, to make this into more of a nice neckline for the moment, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and copy this because we're gonna wanna have a back to our shirt. So select all of it by dragging a square with your left mouse button, select copy, and then right click and select mirror paste. This is just going to make a secondary copy, as you can see, which it'll think for a moment. And actually, in this case, I can go ahead and select this over here, and we'll move it to be a little closer. You can, f oh, by the way, to rotate your view, you're going to want to press your right mouse button to move it around. This is selecting the right mouse button the left mouse button is to select items. So with this, if you get your view messed up, you can actually re-edit it. For, but for now, uh, pressing the left mouse button, you can move it around on this little widget tool and try to line it up as best as you can for the moment being. All right, so back to this. Selecting this right here. Go over to the Edit Pattern tool and we're gonna go ahead and find that middle dot right there and we're gonna delete it. So press delete on your keyboard. Same thing for right here. Select that and press delete. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and edit the curvature. And since this is the front, it doesn't really depend necessarily on the back because this won't be connected too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it 125.6. Looks about a decent sweater for the moment being. And additionally, I think I'm gonna leave this B for now. Doesn't really matter as much for the bottom, but it looks nice on the top to not have it straight across your neck. So you're wondering, wow, okay, the, if I select all this and simulate it, it's gonna fall apart and you'd be correct. I'm gonna go ahead and select the previous pattern we had right here and we're gonna delete it. So now it comes to the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and go to the segment sewing right here. And we're gonna be sewing together the sleeves onto the front part. So whilst looking at this, you'll be able to see a little bit of what's going on when you highlight it. So this is basically just match, uh, connect the dots kind of thing. Press here, press here. That's gonna connect this to the torso. Press here press here, and that's gonna select that. Also, if your view gets messed up, you can right click and zoom extends all. So, we have that so far. And we're gonna wanna connect it to the other side. So, if you see this, this is actually in the back right here, select this, 
and select this and that'll match it up on that side. And then you click here and click here, match it up on that side. Select, 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 select. And you'll see that it kind of sews it together almost. By the way, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this on the other side, this extra point, because I'll be able to do more with it later. I'm going to also do the same right here. Going back to the segment sewing button right here, we're going to sew this together, as you can see right there, and sew, and sew. So, 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 no pun intended. Um, we're <laughs> we're going to have that uh, sewn together right there. And what another thing you're going to want to make sure of is that when we're sewing, say like right here to right here, you're want to want to make sure you don't do this. As you can see, it's like crisscrossed. If we're doing this, this is going to make it act all funny in the simulation. So we're going to click this and make sure that they're both facing the correct way. So back to this, back to this, back to this back to this. Now you'll see that it looks almost like a shirt. Well, we have one more step that we sh probably should do before simulating. This is technically optional, but it'll make your life a lot easier. Go to the select and move, and we're going to select one of the sleeves and move it a little closer. looks more like a three-fourths length shirt at the moment, but basically making it so it doesn't have to travel as far and simulate because our computer will be doing a lot of thinking and it can hurt your brain, or the computer's brain. Your brain too, possibly. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> so, moving it backwards, moving it again backwards, and selecting this, and moving it closer to the chest. So now, the moment of truth. We're going to have your shirt be simulated to show it what it will look like when placed on the avatar. Dun, 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 dun. Go up to this button and it'll say simulate. And it will go ahead and move it towards the avatar. So you'll see this might not be the prettiest of shirts at the moment. But if we go control Z, we can always edit this. And this is another thing that I should have mentioned. You want to make sure that these are also aligned with how high the arms are. So make sure the arms fit in between this little sausage hole. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Um, and move it a little bit towards the armpit. All right. So making sure that that's better again so it doesn't simulate funny. You can press shift to select both at the same time, by the way. Moving it back down and we'll select simulate again. So it's a little bit better on the arm side. Now you're probably wondering, wow, okay, number one, why doesn't this look as good as it should and why is there little holes in it? I swear there are no moths this time. We're gonna fix that real quick. So doing control Z to unsimulate. We'll be able to see uh, by selecting all of this, it'll show you the property editor. So on the simulation properties, it's at 20 right now. You can really edit this to what you want to be, but if it's something really close and needs to have a lot of detail, something like 10 would be a lot better. So I'm gonna enter 10 and press enter, and it'll think for a moment. And then we're gonna go back to simulate, and this should make it look a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in the next video how to edit the materials to make it look more so like a sweater. I'll see you soon.